Hello, welcome to Jade Kind Gaming. My name is Adam, and today I have another Dwarven Forge unboxing. Just one small box that I was uh, quite uh, excited to be able to pick up in one of their limited restocks because, uh, of course, the constant battle with Dwarven Forge is being able to get a hold of this stuff. Uh, they're keeping more stuff in stock than they used to, but some things they uh, they end up you know releasing reserve stock that they keep in case they need to help with you know return with uh, missing items or things that they've shipped, um, and so you'll get just a few you know a half dozen or whatever of a set released into the store, and they'll do gather a bunch of those and release them. I got the flag pack, or maybe it's the flags and gargoyles. I believe is from the no the castles line, if I remember. And it's a small little pack here, but it has quite a bit of stuff that I am excited to get to take a look at and add to the collection. A lot of dressing for my existing sets. Ugh. What do I even? Okay, let's start here. Just whatever. Okay. Wow, those are pretty. Okay. Um. So, ready for scale. The gold tapestry. And now these clips, I believe, are designed for the castle walls. Have a certain area where, like, you can. Set them in, and I don't have any castle walls. But I figure maybe if I take like a dungeon wall, in the middle, it's the same width, or maybe a city wall. Well, it's gonna work there too. So these things with the clips, well, technically designed for a certain section of. Um, castles, they'll work with what I already have. So this adds lovely kind of bluish, purplish, whatever, uh, flag that sort of sticks straight out from a wall. There's details with these ropes hanging down, uh, texture there, and there's a pair of them. Then we get another pair. Scale and just back here. Same hook. And obviously, like, they're taller than the floors here. But, you know, you would hang them on, like, the second story of a big, grand looking room. Um, or maybe outside. But, uh, yeah, so here's a lighter blue. Tapestry that hangs flat against the wall. Sort of a pole there. Rope you can see wrapped around and draping on each end. Again, sort of fine detail on it. You get a pair of those as well. Uh, here, I'm gonna have to dig for something. This is a pole accessory. And we should have little stands in here. There we go. So first, set this aside. Here's a couple of these little, little wooden stands. Sort of wooden structure with the spot here. So you can have a pull accessory, just freestanding wherever you need. This one, it's a flagpole, a flag billowing in the wind, sort of silver detailing around the edge, a maroon red kind of flag, golden detailed top there. Yeah, so there's like a banner that can be out. 
Uh, it can be out waving in the wind, although I do not know if this stand will actually hold the weight of this whole accessory. Because uh, it is. Uh, this is very lightweight. This is heavier all off on the side. But there are many other things that have pull accessories to use. <laughs> or, of course, you can, like, uh, blue tack this down if you need to. Here we have a couple more. Let's see if these will hold. Yeah, so this pole accessory works. Again, very tall, a couple people high. A little more simple. Banner, silver top, cross piece that holds this. Again, sort of burgundy brown sort of canvas loft. Yeah. <laughs> and this gnarly set here is actually one of the main reasons I got this. These are four identical pieces. Again, whole accessories. They are heads on pikes. Gross. The head is larger than like a, a scale head for a mini. But it gets the point across um, of here are evil people. Here are you know be warned entering here. Kind of thing. So that's that's what I was looking for. It's just a way to try and scare off the players. Like these people not only kill you, but they chop your head off and put it outside <laughs> as a warning to you. They don't want you to come here. And uh, yeah, so that's that's gnarly and gross and disgusting. And I figure it might be uh, cool to have them uh, on the set. There's four of those. And here is a second of this flag that uh, wouldn't kind of stay upright on that post, on the ground piece. And we got four of this pole accessory. Now this pole accessory probably wouldn't go on this base, but it gets the point across. See, this would be great on many of the other, you know, where there's pole accessory spots on tops of corner walls or wherever all sorts of spots you know probably not going to set your stone statue on your wooden post but there's lots of spots for them this is just the one that came in the set and this is a stone like griffin gargoyle so to decorate up your city or castle or it can be really unique if you put it out in the wilderness and it's just carved sitting on the ground somewhere looks cool oh no things are falling Get four more of this gargoyle which again has this clip on the back that you can throw over say a wall so this one is one that sticks out from the side of a building Kind of a cat dragon looking gargoyle. Gargoyles are smaller than people here. But yeah, so just sort of intricate detail sticking out there, or if you'd rather have it in your dungeon where maybe it's uh, at the end of a hallway and it's a magic trap that shoots laser beams down the hallway until they can reach it to deactivate it or whatever. Yeah. It's a cool little decorative piece that just goes right onto the wall. Another four. Pull accessory. Gargoyles. This one has his face all smashed in because it was not formed properly. OK. 
Okay. But here's one that looks like it's supposed to. <laughs> um, just sort of this little crouched, fiendish looking gargoyle. Quite small. Smaller than even the other gargoyle. But yeah, another little stone gargoyle looking thing to decorate up whatever has a pole accessory spot. <laughs> and then I thought, thought there were four. Another two of these spots for you to put pole accessories just freely out in the middle of nowhere. So that's, again, a tiny little pack with a bunch of very small things, but again, flags and gargoyles. And then the, the heads on poles. So, just ways to decorate up whether it's your, you know, evil, you know, jungle people, you know, encampment, you know, stay away, or your castle or city with pole accessories or in the dungeon, or again, castles or cities are in the dungeon with flags or gargoyles or whatever, just lots of cool, you know, lots of cool options for how to make things look interesting. And while like a lot of these little clip things that are supposed to go over a wall are technically, like there's little inset like spots in the, um, castle walls. I do not have any castles yet because that's a big investment. Uh, as much as I've spent on Dwarven Forge, it's like you gotta, you gotta put a big investment to castles before you get any use out of it. Whereas things like this, I spend a relatively small amount for this little set, and it gives me a lot more variety in what I can do with the sets that I already have, and that is awesome. But, again, they work with just dungeon or city walls, and, uh, therefore can just be used with the sets I already have still. Um... I'll of course, link down to Dwarven Forge's website. Um, if you're interested in the set and it's still not available, make sure you add it to your wish list to let them know that you want it. And of course, you can let them know that on their uh, Discord as well, because they have a whole section for restock requests. And in the time I've been following them, it seems that they pay attention to that. So <laughs> that is definitely worth doing if there are any of the sets that they don't have in stock that you wish they did. Um, and again, this is just cool to add a lot of variety of decorative bits to my existing sets. Thank you for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, all that fun YouTube stuff.